to show you how to use arrays in Alice. I've created a scene that has three mice on it. I'm going to use an array to make each mouse say the poem three blind mice in order. Then we're going to add some code to have them all work together. Notice I have an array called mice. I'll show you how I did that. You create a local variable and I'm going to give it another name. I'll delete it when I'm done. But you're going to have to check is array and I'm just going to call this one this has to be of a type, my type, we want my mouse because I have three instances. The name on this is going to be delete me, just to remind me to do that, and I'm going to add each of my mice to the array. And each mouse is given an index number. Though there are three mice in programming, you always start counting at zero. So the mice in my array are at index of zero, which is this mouse one, there's no one here, but it's my first mouse. Index 1, which is this mouse 2, and index 2, which is this mouse 3. I'm going to hit cancel here because I don't actually need to add it, but that's how I created my array here. Then I used, and you'll notice once you create the array, the variable m appears in your instance drop down. So I can select it for my array. For my array, I had each mouse say the poem Three Blind Mice. Let's test it. Three blind mice, see how they run. They all ran after the farmer's wife. She cut off their tails with a carving knife. Have you ever heard such a tale in your life as three blind mice? It goes to the next one. So I'm going to speed it up. And you see that each one says the poem in order. Okay. Now I want them all to run towards me and then run away. But I want them to do it together. So in Alice, each in together, this is a for loop that makes them each do the action at one time. So you saw how I brought them in and selected that it's my mice, mouse array. Now I want them each to move, and I'm going to have them move forward 10, and then I'm going to have them turn, and I want them to just turn right, and we want them to do 0.5, we want them to turn to face the other way, and then we want them to run away. So we'll again have them move forward because forward is always the distance that they are facing and this time we'll make their number 100 since it's happening in the same time period they'll move faster than when they come toward us let's try it again and I'm going to speed through the singing and oh no only one of them moved ah, I made a very common error that works with arrays. I did not have it set to my variable of m. And notice there are two variables of m. This variable m is in scope in the top loop. This variable m is in scope in the bottom loop. They are different variables. But here I can quickly switch this to be the variable m instead of this mouse too. Let's try it again. And there you go. They ran at us and ran away. So that's how to create and use arrays in Alice.